So take a look at this, another well-circumscribed lesion. Uh, it'd be a little bit hard at low power to say this is a fatty tumor, right? Because I actually don't see any fat. Um, well, uh, here's maybe a few adipocytes. Let's take a look at this. Much more myxoidy than the lesion that we showed. Is it atypical? Yeah, it's pretty atypical. I mean, these cells are whopping. Note, notice this now. We're starting to see pretty good collagen bundles, right? This is, the, this is the kind of ropey collagen that you characteristically see in pleomorphic and spindle cell lipoma. So I guess the question that I have for you is by the virtue of the fact that maybe there's only like three adipocytes here <laughs> at most, should this dissuade you from calling it a pleomorphic lipoma? And you might be able to tell from my tone of voice that the answer is no. Um, okay, here's a little bit of fat. I've had cases sent to me of pleomorphic or spindle cell lipoma with no fat, and I make that diagnosis, and then the, the person who sent me the case calls me up and says, you call this a lipoma and there's no fat. And then I just sort of say, well, this is an example of a fat-free pleomorphic lipoma or a fat-free spindle cell lipoma, and that's really well documented. There's a certain percentage of these cases that have no fat. Because the fact of the matter is the neoplastic cells, at least in, the, in, in cases like this, are fibroblastic, which is actually why they stain for CD34. CD34 is a good fibroblastic marker. So I just wanted to raise this point that you do have fat-free pleomorphic lipomas. I think it makes the diagnosis harder. Unless you know this exists, you're gonna go down a completely another, you know, a different path, right? So any, any questions about this? Look how bizarre these cells are. I mean, there's really, this is pretty scary looking, especially if there's no fat. You start going, oh man, is this a myxofibrosarcoma or, or you know, an undifferentiated pleomorphic sarcoma, which by the way, I've had cases where the differential diagnosis was pleomorphic lipoma versus an undifferentiated pleomorphic sarcoma, or what we used to call MFH. And actually a CD34 in that circumstance, might be helpful because UPSs should not stain for CD34 to any significant degree, whereas this will light up for, like a Christmas tree for CD34. So in that circumstance, I could argue CD34 might be helpful because this thing would be completely brown. Any quite, look at these florette-like giant cells. I didn't really talk about that. That's, let's, let's talk about those. You know, with sort of this eccentric ring of nuclei and this eosinophilic cytoplasm, when I hear the word pleomorphic lipoma, I always think of these multinucleated florette-like giant cells, and I think the point I want to say is, although they're very characteristic, they're not, quote, pathognomonic, because you can see these florette-like giant cells in lots of different things, including well-diff liposarc. So just because you see these cells doesn't mean it's necessarily a pleomorphic lipoma, but it's pretty characteristic. This is an interesting lesion. I just want to show you some other benign fatty tumors that can cause a problem. I'll give you a little bit higher magnification. Yeah, this is good. I've got to tell you, this is a pretty rare lesion. Anybody have any thoughts on this? It's a superficial fat. I'll tell you, I'll give you some big hints. It's a superficial benign fatty lesion. Any thoughts? Beautiful. Chondroid lipoma. Um, this can be mistaken for lots of different things like chondrosarcoma or myxoid liposarcoma, but this is a chondroid lipoma. It's not a lipoma, which is different than a lipoma with metaplastic cartilage. I mean, that's different. This is a distinct lesion with its own cytogenetic characteristics. It's actually really rare. It's actually really rare, but when you see a real one, it's, it's kind of nice. And this is a real one where you have this admixture of fat and then these epithelioid cells that are deposited in this sort of myxochondroid looking stroma. It's not like a well-differentiated fatty tumor with little areas of metaplastic cartilage. It's totally different. No, and again, it's a, it tends to be a superficial, well-circumscribed lesion, but it's, it's pretty uncommon, I have, to, I have to say. I've only seen, I don't know, a handful of these.